from sea to solemn sea, it was remembered today in New York. The bell tolled and told a story of names. Aisha Ann Harris. Here, a woman kissed one she loved. As family members found a tangible way to touch the loss, pulling names from the new memorial at Ground Zero, open to the public tomorrow. At the Pentagon, a flag unfurled at sunrise, just as pristine as that morning a decade ago. The president wandered the field in Pennsylvania, where 10 years ago, ordinary citizens said, let's roll. The day's sentiment measured by the vice president. Al-Qaeda and bin Laden never imagined that the 3,000 people who lost their lives that day would inspire 3 million to put on the uniform and harden the resolve of 300 million Americans. They never imagined the sleeping giant they were about to awaken.